The first under-21 player I'm going to put on my list is Trent Alexander. Best right back in the world right now. There ain't no one better. I watched him that game, he dictated it in the first half. I just think he's the modern day player and he's in a team where they have a lot of the ball. He's in a team where they dominate teams. He's in a team that's on the front foot all the time so it suits his game perfectly. Liverpool having a defensive-minded right back or or left back doesn't suit the way they play. They need someone. So people that are saying, oh, he's not great defensive, but in the team he's playing, he's perfect. So why? doesn't matter about oh, in what team. In the team that he's playing, he is perfect. He's a great player. He plays with a... a a composure way beyond these years. I've watched him live in massive games, Champions League finals, semi-finals. I watched him in Rome. Yeah, he has a tough night defensively, but still moments in the game where you think, wow, this kid, he's got the composure. He's very, 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 very composed in pressure situations, man. I just love the way he conducts himself and carries himself. So um, Trent is the first one on my list. The second one I'm going to go for is... Martinelli. I watched him against Bournemouth away, man. Jesus. The way this boy played, man. I watched him against Chelsea at Stanford. Come on. He is a proper player. I think he's going to be a major player in, in world football in years to come. 18 years old doing what he's doing. The goal against Chelsea alone runs from the edge of his box, a set piece against his team, takes it up the other end. Normally, your legs are gone by then. You've got no, no energy, there's no juice in the legs. He's got the composure to slot it. <sighs> Great player, but his awareness of the way he plays, the way he moves on the pitch, the way that he's intelligent to receive the ball, the positions he takes up, he comes inside at the right times to allow Saka to have space to run on the outside, ask the opposing fullback the question, are you going to come inside with me or are you going to go with Saka? Like, it's mad, he's, just got a, he's, a, he's a mature player for such a young kid. He needs to play next year, man. I think I think Arteta's going to find a way to get him in there. Phil Foden. That's the, bit, the, the way this kid glides, man. Oof. He's like a little... He's an artist as well, the way he plays. And I've seen the videos when he was young. He's, he's just a spit of where he is now. He, I've been crying out for him to get more games. And I know probably Pep, if he's ever heard me, he's probably thinking, Rio, shut up. I've got David Silva and I've got Kevin De Bruyne in the team. And if they're not fit, I've got Bernardo Silva. So what are you talking about? I know, but he's English and we want our young players to get exposure and play. So I've been frustrated. I'm sure he has, but his time will come. Pep seems to be absolutely committed to playing this boy at some point. And I think he will this season. David Silva's off. So I think Phil Foden needs his time to come to play now. The final, we got man in a match the other day, the Carabao Cup. It just show, Every time he does play, he gives you a little glimpse. That's what I love about him. There's always something in the game that you go, you know what? Mm, I see now what people are saying. I see it. The way he's balanced. The way he plays with his head up. He can, he's looking all the time, analysing the situation, taking snapshots of where people are and then making the right decision, the, the right pass, his weight of pass. The way you can just shift someone off balance and then exploit that. It's just, it's just beautiful. It's poetry in motion at times. Just want him to play more games. But he'd be on there. So that's Trent. That's Martinelli. That's Foden. That's free. The other one I'm going to go for is Reese James. Now this boy, I like him. The way he plays, he's... He's crossing, listen, he ain't played as many games as Trent, but he's crossing, he puts teams under pressure. He, he's got a, there's a devilment in his, in his passing, in the way he crosses the ball. He wants to hurt the opposing team. Face your own goal. Away. That's what I like when I see people cross the ball, like Bex used to do it as well, is Trent does it. Is when they cross a ball from particular areas out wide, they make the defender, if they, especially if they're not positioned right, which is probably a lot of the time, 85, 90% of the time, their positions ain't right. They end up having to face their own goal and put the ball out for a corner or it goes just out for, to, for, for, for a throw on or something like that. And if it does come back into play, it's, all, it's a real difficult ball to clear on their weak side or whatnot. It's awkward and it, it almost gives you an opportunity for the second phase. He's just a, uh, he's all round, I think. He's got so much growth in his game. He's versatile. He's played centre half for Wigan, he can play right back, he can play right wing back, he can play in centre midfield, the kid's, the kid's got it all, and he looks like he's got a great temperament, which is huge, and physically, 
He's like a light mid middleweight boxer. He looks strong and solid, quick, aggressive. I like it, man. I like what I see with him. So he's definitely getting in there. Um, I think Frank will find a position for him to play next year, regular, much more regular. He's got a lot of games recently, but I think he'll become a mainstay in that team. I think number five, I was torn between two people. Neto at Wolves played a lot of football, scored a good amount of goals, but he always excites me when I see him. There's something about him. I think, oh, this kid's got something. He has got something. He's not. He's unnerved. He's cool as you like in front of goal. There's a great energy about him. Technically, he's very good. Um, but he's just not going to get... I think the the badge the, the badge has done it, man. But the kid, Mason Greenwood, I can't not have him in this five. Have you seen what this kid's doing with his left and right foot? If you said to him, listen, God, take a free kick, please. In his own mind, he's saying to himself, does he want it on my right or my left foot? I don't know what he wants. That's the kind of vibe that he's... That's the conversations he's having in his head. Does he want it with my right or my left foot? Can, can you tell... He wants to say, can you... But he doesn't want to be disrespectful. Can you tell me what... What foot you want it? What angle? What kind of... In, whip? In... Like, what do you want? Outswinger, inswinger. Like, that's what he's saying in his head, but he can't say it because no one else can do that type of stuff. Left foot, right foot, bang. The ball's hitting the back of the net. That's how he moves. And I've seen this kid since he was very young and I've heard people talking about him since he was very young at the club that this boy's going to be special. And... Every level he's gone into, that's the key. Every level he's played, he's looked unfazed and he's just stepped up to it easily, like with pure, pure ease. He's just done it and that's what he does, man. He just, every level he's gone into, unfazed. This looks around, Old Trafford, this is me. I'm meant to be here. That's the vibe I get from him. And you can't put a price on that. That cold-hearted, calm confidence is just mad. And so he's in there, man. He, I, I just want to see him play. I didn't see him play live enough yet. I want to see more. That's what I like. Because the ball comes to him and you think, yep. And when he gets stronger, like all these boys, when they get about physically a bit stronger, that a little bit more cute, how to play against people, they're going to hurt a lot of people. Him and Martin Lee are going to score a lot of goals, man, in their careers. And I'd like to see the, what, that, that rivalry grow. You know what I mean? You've had all these rivalries over the years. Great players need great rivalries. I'm not saying these boys are great yet, but they've got great potential. And they need rivalries. And they should be looking at each other. How many goals has he got? Well, Greenwood scored this week. Listen, Ruben and Estoy to come in the change room. Trust me. After a game, we're going trying to win the league. And we're coming in. We've beat someone 3 or 4-1. He scored one goal. Come in. He looks up to the TV. Remote control. Oh. Sits down. Rude, you're out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, what's wrong? Nothing, nothing, nothing. And then someone will go, like, Thierry scored two today. Because Rude's only scored one, in it? So, he's, obviously, he's, like, a goal behind now. And he's sitting there, he's, like, devastated. I almost swore. He's sitting there, devastated. And you can see it. But that's, I used to sit there and think, this guy's mad. We just won three or four one. He scored a, a banger, set someone up as well. But he's disappointed. That's the drive that you want. That's the determination. That's the, like, the single-mindedness that you need if you want to be at the top. And I just hope these two young boys, the two forwards I mentioned, have got that. That they, that they, they want to outdo someone else. You need that, man. I, had it. I used to think that about Nemanja Vidic, John Terry with England, Sol Campbell with England. Like, I'm, I've got to be better than them. I've got to be better. And whether you are or not, you'll work that at the end of your career. It's about, in your career, I'm not having no one say that he's better than me or I need to be. When they're in the room, it's minimum a debate. Minimum. So, <clears throat> that's the way you've got to be and that's what I hope Mason Greenwood, um, uh, Martinelli and people like that start doing because it's like Mbappe. Mbappe's going to have to start finding he's, who's, he, who's his rival. Is it is it Haaland now? Is that who he's looking at? Because like, is Haaland going to be the guy that people are going to start going, they're different players, but who's scoring more goals now? Who's going to score more goals out of them two? Because they're both young. They're both the, 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 guy, the new guys on the block. Are they ready to take that throne? They've got to use someone, surely. I'm sure uh, Haaland's sitting there thinking, Mbappe, he's done my celebration. I'm going to show him now, watch. I'm going to bang all season next year and I'm going to start, then, then they're going to do my celebration, do it then when I'm top of the goal charts. That's what I'll be thinking. They've got to use that stuff as fuel. 
And Mbappe's got to be looking at someone now, maybe Haaland. He might be looking down on Haaland and saying, he ain't ready for me. So I'm going to look at, I don't know, someone else somewhere else um, and see what he's doing. Or maybe He's maybe looking at Mane and Salah, I don't know. <clears throat> or is he looking beyond them and going, I'm just going to go direct for Cristiano and I'm going direct for Messi and I'm just going to outdo the top, the top dogs at the moment. That might be where Mbappe is, I don't, don't know yet. So... It is cool. So there you have it, guys. That is my Premier League under-21s Fantastic Five.